Welcome back to the Maths Literacy Lesson, Grade 10. This is found in your book on page 21. The first thing we're going to look at are fractions. First of all, what is a fraction? Well, a fraction is part of a whole. Here I have a quarter of the cake. This side would be half of the cake. So I've eaten a quarter of the cake and there are three quarters left. The meaning of fractions, there are three parts that are shaded out of a total of eight. So a fraction shows you what part is shaded or what part is eaten or what part is not shaded. When we change a fraction to a decimal fraction, what this actually means is one divided by four and what we're going to do, we're just going to do it on the calculator. So I would say 1 divided by 4 equals a quarter. That is your common fraction. We want to change it to a decimal. So the answer is 0, 0,25. We do the same thing with improper fractions. So we've got 23 divided by 4 equals your improper fraction, change it to a decimal, and it is 5,75. Equivalent fractions. Here's a diagram showing that two-thirds of my circle is shaded. If I have a look at this circle, what has happened here? Well, I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 parts that are shaded. 8 out of 9, 10, 11, 12. 8 out of 12. What did I do to the 2 to get 8? Well, I multiplied by 4. And if I take 3 multiplied by 4, I get 12. So as long as I multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number, I will get an equivalent fraction. Here's another group of equivalent fractions. I have 6 eighteenths that are shaded. If I had to put this shape on top of that one, you would see exactly the same area is shaded. So 6 eighteenths is the same as 1 third. In this case, we said 6 divided by 6 is 1. What I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. I divide by 6. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. And once again, you could do that on your calculator. So you would have 6 divided by 18 equals, and your fraction is 1 third. Let's have a look what happens here. I start off, one out of the four blocks is colored or shaded, so I have a quarter. If I now take those blocks and I cut each one in half, two out of the eight are shaded. If I take each of these rows and I divide them in half again, I have four that are shaded. So in this case, I said one and I multiplied by two. So therefore, I multiply by 2 here as well, multiplied by 2. I could go 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, or I could have said 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. So equivalent fractions for a quarter are 2 eighths and 4 sixteenths. Let's have a look at these. I have three fifths because three of the blocks out of five are shaded. If I now divide this one row into three equal parts, I now have 15 equal parts, three in each of those. So three multiplied by three is nine. So nine fifteenths is an equivalent fraction for three fifths. Tips for working with fractions. Very often in the supermarkets, we will see that 
the price has been reduced by a third, for example. So if the nappies cost 145 Rand, how much will the buyer save? Well, the buyer is saving a third. So we need to find a third of 145 Rand. What does of mean? Of means multiply. So when we go to our calculator, all we're going to do is I'm going to use the fraction button, one third multiplied by 145, and the answer will be 48,3 recurring. 48,3 recurring. So I'm going to round that off to 48 rand and 33 cents. That will be how much the buyer saves. How much will the buyer pay? Well, that is what he's getting off. So how much will we pay? It's going to be 145 rand minus 48, 33 equals, get your calculator, so now we have 145 minus 48.33 and the answer is 96 rand and 67 cents. 96.67. So that is what the buyer will pay. Let's have a look here. We often have the red dot sale or the pink dot sale. So let's have a look. The item of clothing is labeled with a red dot. A red dot as well as a pink dot. So that means we get a quarter for the pink dot and we get another half off for the red dot. How much all together? So we'll go back to the calculator. And I have a quarter plus a half. So I will get three quarters. Three quarters off. And three quarters is also not comma seven five. So my discount is three quarters. I will actually therefore only pay one quarter of the price. Let's look what happens when we divide fractions. Well, we know 18 divided by three is six, but what happens when we divide 18? So let's cancel 18 divided by a half equals 36. Right, and when we were dealing with whole numbers earlier on, I said to you that when we divide, your number gets smaller as long as we're dividing by a whole number. But you can see here that when we divide by a fraction, your number actually becomes bigger. Let's see what happens when we multiply fractions. One half of one half is one quarter. So if we do it verbally, one half of a half is going to be a quarter. Dividing by a fraction, two divided by one half, so I'm dividing each of these into half, will give me four. So when we divide by a fraction, your number, your answer is actually bigger than what you started with. Let's look at mixed fractions. Get to know your calculator. Remember the rules of bod mass? Because not all of you have scientific calculators. If you have a scientific calculator, it does the order of operations for you, but you are expected to know what to do 
using the laws of BODMAS. I don't have any brackets, I don't have of, so now I'm looking for multi multiplying and division. Here is my first multiplication sign, so I'm going to multiply those two together. So I will have two and a quarter minus three fifths plus If I want to get a mixed number on the calculator, I cannot go and press 3 and 7 tenths. I actually have to go and press shift so that I get the mixed number icon. And now I have 3 and 7 tenths. 3 and 7 tenths. Multiplied by five eighths and that equals 37 over 16 so I'm going to add 37 sixteenths I'm finished with my multiplication and division so now we're going to do addition and subtraction in order of appearance so I'm going to and you can do this immediately on your calculator So remember, we have to use the mixed number button. So it is two and one quarter minus three fifths plus. I'm not going to change it to an improper. I'm not going to change it to a mixed number. I'm simply going to say thirty-seven. Sixteenths. I now have three hundred and seventeen over eighty. Let's just have a look what that answer was. Three hundred and seventeen over eighty. So three hundred and seventeen over 80, which gave you as a mixed number 3,9625. That is the explanation on fractions for today. Please will you ensure that you do exercise 3 on page 23. Thank you.